Hello, hello. Good evening, uh, Nelson. Good evening, Wilder. Thank you so much for being on time. So we are basically starting the class right now. Okay, so welcome, Alex. Welcome. Let's see. I see somebody else over here. Welcome, uh, Glinda. Welcome, Joanna. Welcome, Rosa. All right, let's see. Cameras on, please. Try to play your cameras on. And we are going to start our classes right now. Okay, so let's see. One second. Just a moment. Okay, class. Just let me know if you are able to see my thing over here. Just a moment. Okay. All right, class. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being on time. All right. So once again, my name is Rene Escamilla. I'm going to be your teacher for tonight. I will try to explain some information about the topic that we checked last class and about the topics that we are going to check tonight. Okay. So I will try to keep, you know, speaking English the whole class, all right? So we tried, and I want to make sure if you guys understand. If you don't, raise your hand and tell me, mister. I just want to make sure, I mean, could you please repeat that one more time because I couldn't understand what you're talking about, okay? Me levanta la manita si no me entiende, si estoy hablando muy rápido o no me entiende nada, me dice, I don't get it. No entiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo le bajo volumen, pero... Why I'm doing this is because I want you to, you guys, uh, learn to speak English faster, okay? So, but for this thing, what we need to do, guys, first, we need to be motivated. Let's repeat motivation. Let's go. Motivation. 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 One more time. Motivation by the smile. Motivation. Motivation. You know? motivation. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. You know what? Um, it was raining like a, an hour ago, but now it's hot. It's hotter. I mean, I don't know why what's going on, but when when it's raining, I don't know what happened, but it gets hotter and hotter. Okay, so I don't know why. Anyway, so let's uh, read this quote. All right, so and then we are going to continue with the classes. All right, so let's read this. Okay, think positive, feel positive, and live positive. All right, so let's repeat. Right. Think positive. Think positive. Think, think positive. positive. Feel positive. Feel positive and live positive. Live positive. positive. All right. So why we need to think uh, positive? Why? I don't know what happens. No sé si le ha pasado de que. Okay. No sé si le ha pasado de que a veces usted piensa. Como le digo, pensamos negativo, cosas negativas pasan. But when you feel positive, when you think positive, good things are going to come to your life. All right. So, and a good thing right now is that we need to learn to speak English. All right. So, as soon as possible, ASAP. All right. So, as soon as possible. Esto se escribe así, man, por si no lo sabían. No sé si han visto esta palabra ustedes algún, en algo. Es as soon as as possible all right as soon as possible asap all right cuando escuchas la palabra él le están diciendo que así verdad sí a las para la ya all right asap as soon as possible okay so i want you to you guys learn to speak english asap okay so very good we need to be uh happy we need to be positive we need to be we need to feel positive all right so because i don't know this is my feeling, and I want to transmit this to you guys, all right? So I want to make sure that you guys are thinking positive because I want you to you guys learn to speak English faster, okay? So now let me go ahead and double check the first topic. Give me one second. Let's see. Let's see. Just a moment. All right, what was the last topic that we checked last class, guys? Do you remember? What was the last topic? 
remember that we check this, right? We check, you know, the jobs titles, right? So I just want to make sure we're going to review real quick this, all right? Because I don't want to stay, I don't want to get stuck here uh, much longer. So I just want to make sure that you guys remember what we checked a few days ago on this class, right? So if I ask you, one by one, of course, right? If I ask you, just me. If I ask you, let's see, one second. All right, so if I ask you, who is this lady? Who was, say, who, who's this lady? Fly attendant. Fly attendant, right? Everybody is agree with that, yes? Estamos de acuerdo, yes. everybody's agree. Very good. What, uh, who is this guy? Pilot. Pilot, wow. what, about, what about this this guy and this lady over here? Is like waitress. waitress, waitress, uh huh, and waiter, and waiter, and waiter, right? So, what about this uh, lady over here? Singer. Singer, singer, very good. What about this guy over here? Is chef or Ch cook. chef or cook? Excellent. What about this uh guy over here? Um, musician. Musician. Musician, right? So what about this guy over here? A doctor. A doctor. A doctor. No. No. A chef. Who's this guy? Anybody anybody remember who's this guy? Receptionist. Receptionist, right? Very good. Receptionist, yes. Who, who's this lady over here? Nurse. Nurse. And no, it's a doctor. She's a doctor, and this one is she is no, a nurse. nurse. What about this guy over here? Mm. Liar. 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 Remember, Liar. remember, don't forget it said he is a liar. No solo me diga liar. He is a liar. Okay. He's a liar. What about this uh this guy over here? This uh, police, 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 police officer. officer, security war. Uh, what about this guy over here? Judge. She's a. She's a. She's a judge, right? A judge. A judge. Repeat, judge. 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 And what about this lady over here? Uh, he is. He is um, Security, security guard. guard. Security, security guard, right? Very good. Excellent. Right on my class. I like that. I like that. Very good. Very good. You see, we are learning. We are learning. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me clean this out. Let's see. Uh, permítame. All right, let's see now. Let's pass to the next topic. Knowledge check. We already checked this uh, exercises, right? Let's see. Mm. We're ready to double check these exercises, right? Yes? Ya lo completamos? Yes. 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 Very, very good. And they are completed already, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Let's see the topic. WH questions, we already checked WH questions, right? So we are going to review WH questions one more time. All right, so before we continue with the class, because this topic is really important, all right? <clears throat> okay, guys, in the meantime, uh, I just want to make sure, guys, that you are completing. Estaba chequeando las, uh, las notas y eh, muchos de ustedes me aparecen ahí que les faltan notas y tienen hasta el jueves para completar, si no se van a quedar sin, sin su espacio, de acuerdo a lo que yo he entendido. All right, so, si no entiende algún, algún tema o algo, súbalo ahí al grupo y si podemos, pues entre todos lo vamos a contestar, pero no se quede sin su nota. Acuérdese que es el 80%, el 80% que usted tiene que tener para este, que le den su espacio, ¿verdad? Este, estaba viendo que le, le hacen falta unas notas uh, a Rosa, a Ruth, a Swanny, a Jenny Urbina, a Raúl, a María Auxiliadora, a Hugo, a Carla Esmeralda Orantes, Jonathan y Moisés. Fueron los que yo me, medio apunté, ¿verdad? Entonces, que les, les faltan notas para completar el 80%. All right, so a mí, remember. A mí solo les estaba en final, me falta. Ah, ok, ok. 
Pero acuérdense de que hay que, hay que terminarlo y, y sacar el 80%, ¿ok, Rosa? Oh, ya Dicho, Very yo good. ya terminé la lección toda. ¿Quién dice? ¿Quién me dijo eso? Ruth. Ruth. Oh, sí. ok. Bueno, voy a revisar de nuevo, eh, pero quiero que denle una chequeadita, por favor. Solo le hago saber porque fue lo que yo vi, ¿verdad? Okay. Tal vez no lo he actualizado yo. Eh, mi sistema, pero fue lo que yo vi. Me verifíquemelo, please, y para que no se me vaya a quedar sin su nota. All right. So, let's see. ¿Y el mío, Rosa Elizabeth? Fíjese que solo vi a, a una Rosita por acá. No sé si fue usted o fue este, la, la otra Rosita que tengo aquí. Creo que tengo dos Rosas. Pero sí. puse este, Rosa. Entonces, las dos, por favor, chequenme. All right, porque no sé, solo puse Rosa. Y los espacios que yo vi solos fueron los que los alumnos que yo escogí. Ok, les voy a decir para que ellos estén al tanto. Ok, so let's see. Let's go. Vamos a ver. Oh, sorry. WS question. Vamos a revisar. All right, so we already checked this, right? So we are aware about this topic. Um, pronunciation reduction of do and does all right so we already know where we are going to apply uh where do uh where do you work where does he work wow. ya sabemos que eso lo vamos a aplicar en simple present questions all right so simple present questions no se olvide de eso the simple present questions son donde usted va a empezar a preguntar where do you work where does he work what does he do What what do you do? All right. So if I ask you, Glenda, what do you do? What would be your answer? I am a babysitter. I am a babysitter. I'm a how do you call this? Uh, housewife. All right. So housewife. Very good. So if I ask okay. you, very uh -huh, very good, Glenda. Thank you. If I ask you, uh, Alex, what do you do? What do you do? I am a mechanic. Very good. If I ask, let's see, uh, Rosa, what do you do? I am housewife and an English student. Very good. Very good. Nelson, what do you do? I auditor. Very good. Jenny, what do you do? What? What do you do? If I ask you, si yo le pregunto, what do you do? What would be your answer? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta, Jenny? I am a housewife. I am a babysitter. I am a English English student. All right. So re remember that que ahora usted, usted ya trabaja en su casa, pero también es estudiante de inglés, que no se le olvide eso. All right. So I am an English student. All right. So don't, don't forget about that. Very good. Very good. All right. So. If I ask you, Ruth, what do you do? What would be your answer? Yeah. Ruth Noemi Nunez de Petrica, de Petrica. What, what do you do? Si yo le pregunto, what do you do? What would be your answer? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Permítame que estaba ladrando el perro y no podía contestar. What do you do? Yeah. I am. I am. Es lo que trabajo. Ajá, exacto. Si usted, si es sales, salesperson, si es, uh, uh, let's see, technician, if you're, if you're a designer, la profesión, es la que yo le estoy okay. preguntando. ¿Qué es lo que hace usted? I am secretary. I am a secretary. Very good. All right. So, eh, acuérdese lo que le dije yo la vez pasada. No se me vaya a confundir cuando le pregunten what do you do or where do you work. Se va a decir, entonces, ¿qué quiere saber? ¿Qué quiere, quiere saber dos cosas? Sí, yo quiero saber dos cosas. Where do you work and what do you do? All right. So, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to know. I'm sorry. All right. So, where do you work? Where do you work? Oh, I work at the pharmacy. I work at the restaurant. I work at the at, at the city hall. All right. So in la in la alcaldía. Anyways. All right. So eso ya lo verificamos. Quiero ver. Vamos a ver. Tenemos tiempo. Vamos a verlo nuevamente. Rápido. And notice the reduction of do and does. 
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue and writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of doing does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What, does he do? what do they do? What do they do? All right, class. In this, in this case, uh, I just want to make sure I need to confirm or let me make a short parenthesis, right? Este, en este caso, acuérdese de que él está explicando el, el link sound, es como el enlace del sonido, porque aquí, si usted se fija, él está explicando dos palabras. No se me vaya a confundir, ¿verdad? Ni se me vaya a frustrar, por favor. Por favor, esto es solamente que se lo expliquen bonito. Estas dos cosas acá. Aquí es como se dice eh, fonéticamente, ¿verdad? Where do you work? Pero acá el, el otro que trata de decir de que usted lo va a escuchar a veces más rápido y cambia el sonido. Where do you work? All right. Where do you work? El primero, aquí el primero, usted acuérdese que usted lo va a decir. Where do you work? Pero como yo estoy hablando rápido, where do you work? Where, the, where do you work? Where does she, where does she work? Where do they work? Entonces, eso es lo que le está explicando acá, ¿verdad? Que es lo mismo, solamente que usted lo va a escuchar, algunas veces lo va a escuchar más rápido y otra vez acá lo va a escuchar más despacio, ¿ok? Solamente eso quería explicarle. Ahora bien, uh, ahora que tenemos ya esto, creo que puedo cerrar acá, permítame. ¿Qué es la boquita de Vamos a ver. All right, so if you don't have any questions, let's pass to our next uh, topic. And let's see, be my guest over here. Let's see, someone that never participates. Oh, bueno, todos participamos acá. Swanny Gabriel, chicas, please, uh, léame acá, por favor. Oops, perdón. Léame el, el, el objective, this one, this part right here, please. Go ahead. Go ahead, Swanis. By the end of the class, you will learn how to form WH questions <laughs> using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustration how this topic is used in a real life city settings. Very good, very good. Okay, Wilder, be my guest, please uh, read that for me. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form WA question using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice 
conversation with illustrate how topic is music in red light setting. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Um, Anasimara, please uh, read that for me. Don't be shy. Go ahead. Don't be shy. You can do it. Léame esa parte de acá, Ana Xiomara, please. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí, sí, s
Acetyl. Yes, but it's very stressful, Jeff, and sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent. All right, let's repeat exciting. 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 All right, let's repeat uh, high school. High school. Let's repeat a stressful job. It's a stressful job. And let's repeat dangerous. Dangerous. Let's repeat teaching. 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 All right. Very good. Very good. This is part of the what we've been checking. Let's see. Give me one second. The word play. Yes. All right. So now let's see. Help me with this. Um, no, we Let's see. Glenda and Rudy, please be my guests. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you help a new home. Yes, I am teaching much at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The student art terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I I am fire freak. No, you how you know. That's exciting. Yes, but is I very astral full how and summer time. Uh, it's dangerous. Very good, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's repeat dangerous. Everybody, let repeat dangerous. 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 Stressful. Stressful. One more time. Stressful. Stressful. Firefighter. 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 Terrific. 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 Job. 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 No hub. Job. <laughs> Job. 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 Exciting. 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 Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see over here. It's gonna help me over here. Uh, let's see. 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 Uh, William and Jancy, please be my guests. William and Jancy, are you there? Okay. Hello. Hello. All right, go ahead. Hello. Right, go ahead. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I I hear you have a new home. Yes. Um, I teacher Matt Mead and Lincoln Haikyuu music. How do you like? How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are they with you? Not bad. I am hurting her. No, no. At Exeter. Yes, but it's a very stressful show, and some teammates, it's dangerous. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's repeat. Let's repeat. Uh, sometimes. 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 One more time. Sometimes. Sometimes. Let's repeat. Terrific. 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 Excellent, excellent. All right, let's stop over here one moment and then we're going to continue. Let me pass uh, lead right now. Let's see. Just a moment. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops. Today is, what day is today? 15, right? Okay, let's have a... Hold on one second. Just a moment. Okay. 
Okay. All right, yeah, the 15. Give me one second. All right, let's see. Uh, Abigail Elizabeth Noyola Lopez. She's not here. All right, Ana, Mar Ana Marina Cáceres Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Ana Xiomara Barrera Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Eva Elizabeth Ordóñez Martínez. Eva Elizabeth Ordóñez Martínez. Glenda Karina Baños de Serna. Present, teacher. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. Okay. Hugo Adalberto Orellana, uh, Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. He's not here. Este, Joana Guadalupe Fernández Le, Le Reinaga. Present. One second. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Joana Guadalupe Fernández, oh, perdón. Jorge Alberto Merino Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Carla, es, eh, hold on. Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andrés. Ah, uh, let's see. Carla Sofía González Montano. Present, teacher. Okay. Catherine Guadalupe Cortez, uh, perdón, Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez. She's not here. María Auxiliadora Cornejo de Díaz. María Auxiliadora Cornejo de Díaz. Marielos Elizabeth Ábalos Barahona. Present. Thank you. Minor Alexander Santos Solís. Minor Alexander Santos. You're welcome. Este, Melissa Isel López Franco. Present. Thank you, Miss. Este, Moisés Abraham Rodas Chávez. Moisés Abraham Rodas Chávez. Nelson Rutilio Orellana Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Pedro Nataán Ramírez Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Este, Raúl Alexander Belloso Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos de Vázquez. Rosa. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Present. Excellent. Uh, Rudy Omar Rivas Díaz. Present. Thank you, sir. Ruth Noemi Núñez Pertica. Present. Thank you, miss. Este, Zaira Abigail Carrillo Chávez. Zaira Abigail Carrillo Chávez. Ok, este, Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Present, ah. teacher. Thank you, miss. Suani Marilaisis Hernández Cornejo. Present, coach. Thank you. Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. William Alfredo Martinez Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Yancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Melendez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. That's a moment. All right, let's get back on track. Let's see. Mío, que está haciendo. It's pretty hot. 
Okay, let's see. Um, let's uh, continue with the practice. Okay, let's see, Jorge. Why well, you are two, two times over here. Jorge Alberto Marino Quintanilla with, okay. Jen, with Jenny Concepcion Urbina. Go ahead, let's go. Hey, Stephanie. Um, Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching teaching made at um, Lincoln School. Lincoln High School. Hi, Lincoln Lincoln Hills School. How do you like it? It's great, strange students are story. Terrific. 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 How are strange weeks you? Not hard. I am a first a firefighter. Now do you know? And existing. Yes, but very straightforward job. And um, some things it's uh, dangerous. All right, very good, very good. Let's repeat exciting. Exciting. Okay. Exciting. 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 Everybody exciting. repeat exciting. 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 Terrific. 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 Teaching. Terrific. Terrific. Math. 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 Sometimes it's dangerous. Sometimes, Sometimes it's dangerous. dangerous. All right, very good, very good. Okay, let's see who else is here. Let's see. Minor, are you there? Pastelista no me contestó, pero yo minor. No sé, solo está de, de oyente. Bien, right, teacher. Contesté. Oh, me contestó, ok. Melissa and Pedro, be my guest, please. Ok. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yeah, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No bad. I am fit for fighting for now. You know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see now, minor and let's see uh, and and Ruth, please be my guest. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching Matt Eileen Core High School. How do you like it? It's it's great. The students are terrific. How are things? What you? Not bad. I am firefighter now. You know. Thanks. Exciting. Yes, but I'm very. It's a very stressful stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. Very good, very good. Okay, Mariello, sing in Nelson, please. Hey, Stephanie. I how you have a new job? Yes, I am teaching at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a I, uh, firefighter now, you know? But it's extending. Yes, but it's very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see now, uh, uh, Joanna and Elizabeth. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are you doing with you? No, but I am fire fire. Now, you now. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Thank you very much. Carla and Stephanie, please be my guests. Carlita and Stephanie, please. All right, everybody participate. If you don't want to participate, let's see. Let's go ahead to check the next topic. All right, so everybody participate. Linda, do you participate? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, excellent. All right, so levantame la mano quien no participó, please. Si no, pues pasamos al siguiente tema. All right, so let's see. Yo no participé. Oh, Mr. B Mr. Alex, I'm sorry. Mr. Alex and who else? I teacher. Who say, okay, Alex and quien dijo I? Yo, Glenda. Glenda, okay, Glenda. And Alex, please be my guest. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. A new, a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a fighter fighter. Now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a it's very stressful job and sometimes it's a dangerous. All right, Ana Marina and ¿qué más? No me, me faltó. Ana Marina and who else? Okay, Ana Marina. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, and I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It is great. The students are terrible. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter. Now you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. I like it. I like it. All right. So let's get back to a different topic right now. Let's see. Give me one second. We're going to play this uh, video. All right. So we already checked this. Let's play this video. Okay. So do you have any questions so far, guys? Uh, before I jump to this topic, uh, let me ask you, do you comprehend Usted me entendió, me comprendió lo que eh, estaba hablando Richard con Stephanie aquí. Así, ah, si no entendió, pues ahorita lo, se, lo explico, se lo explico. Porque a veces, miren, este, no se tiene que hacer esas preguntas porque we, estamos, we are, I assume that you speak English already, right? I'm assuming that you speak English, all right? So, and I don't have to ask questions about it. Es como que yo le preguntara en español, ¿verdad? Usted sabe lo que dice aquí, si me estás hablando en español es porque sabes que yo sé, ¿verdad? Pero acá yo les pregunto, con todo respeto, uh, do you understand what they are talking about over here? About what Richard and Stephanie, they are oh, talking? Sure. Ok, excellent, very good, very good. Acuérdense que la palabra terrific or, eh, quiere decir como chévere, ¿verdad? Así como nice, pero es otro, otro otro tipo de palabra, o sea, otro, otra manera de decir esa palabra, eh, esa palabra, en vez de decir nice, usted dice terrific, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando le dicen, hey, how are you, how you doing? En vez de decirle usted, how are you, uh, le dicen, how you doing, usted dígale, terrific, what about you? 
All right, terrific. O sea, yo antes pensaba que terrific era así como terrible o, te, o terrible. O te, te, terrífico, algo así. Pero no, terrific es así como nice, bien chévere, pero en, en diferente manera, ¿verdad? Nosotros solo tenemos en, la, en, en nuestra mente, tenemos, solo tenemos nice, pero terrific es a different, a different uh, word to say nice, all right? So, let's see. Ok, si todo está comprendido aquí, pues nos pasamos al siguiente topic, ok? So, aquí vamos a, vamos a hablar del simple present WH question again, ok? So, let's go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, He's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject, plus the verb, plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. All right, guys. Uh, this topic was already checked before, right? Remember that we already checked this topic. I'm just reviewing this information just to complete are reviewing right so that make us feel better or make us feel like we understood properly this topic okay que entendimos bien este tema yo sé que ya lo vimos varias veces pero quiero que nos quede bien claro verdad para que no estemos en ninguna confusión all right so knowledge check we already i already have this uh answer do you do you answer this uh this uh quiz guys lo contestaron. Yes. 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 Did? All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So I just want to make sure that you guys have the right answers. Remember, if you haven't answered this quiz, these quizzes, you can take a note and answer your quizzes properly. Right. So acuérdense que no se me tiene que quedar sin nota. Mire, la, aquí la primera es uh, how how like. Segunda es where work. Tercera es uh, how like again. How like la cuarta is uh, what do what do you I mean what do you do I am a student all right so y aquí estamos terminado con esto 
pasamos acá al siguiente. A ver. All right, so on, on this topic, guys, that we're going to double check, let me ask you, do you know what a adjective is or what a adjectives are? Si saben que son adjetivos? Si hay algún profesor de, 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 de lenguaje o idioma nacional que me eche la mano, por favor. Si sabe que es un adjetivo. Un adjetivo, ¿qué es un adjetivo? Uh -huh. Bueno, de igual manera, en sí. La, es... Lo que se dice del. El nombre. El nombre. Ok, si yo le pregunto a Melissa, describe yourself in three different adjectives, what would be your answer? Mm, I am a little bit tall. Mm -hmm. I have long hair. Mm -hmm. I have brown eyes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. All right. So, so far, so good. But adjectives would be like this. Let me see if somebody has this, this answer. Uh, Mr. Jorge, si yo le pregunto, descríbase en tres diferentes adjetivos, ¿cuál sería su, su respuesta en español? Don Jorge Alberto. Hello. Yes, si yo le pregunto, describas en, tre, en tres diferentes adjetivos, ¿cuál sería su respuesta? Eh, quiero ver. Eh, I, I am a good technician, electronics. Very good, very good. So, por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. Uh, All right. Por ahí vamos, por ahí la llevamos. I That's am, what I, I am programmer, eh, an engineering programmer. Okay, very good. Well, what I'm trying to tell you guys, thank you, Jorge and Melissa. What I'm trying to tell you is this. When somebody's asking you, describe yourself in three different adjectives, they are asking you to describe yourself. As a matter of fact, like, oh, I am very hard worker. I am a very easy person. I am very friendly. I like to learn fast. I like to work uh, uh, in teams and, and on and on and on, right? Usted empieza a hablar de usted, que usted es, es amigable, es trabajadora, trabaja bajo, bajo presión. That's, that's the meaning when somebody's asking you, hey, describe yourself in three different adjectives, all right? So I just want to, I just want to hear you, all right? So acuérdese de que un día va a ir a una entrevista usted en inglés y va a ser una de las preguntas que le van a hacer. Describe yourself in three different adjectives. Acuérdese de eso. Y usted aquí la va a tener ya va a decir, esta me la dijo el teacher. Okay, so, so I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding what adjectives, adjectives are. Porque si no entendemos que es un adjetivo, mmm, nos va a costar. Pero no, no va a ser imposible, ¿verdad? Solo quiero saber que yeah. tiene la idea usted, ¿verdad? Que es, que es un adjetivo. Okay, let's play the video. Y póngame atención a estas fórmulas, ¿verdad? Porque aquí ya estamos, ya estamos entrando más en materia. Please, pay attention to this uh, video. Okay, let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of the screen. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now, let's analyze the first example on the chart. 
a firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Yeah. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now, we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Okay, guys. I just want to make sure over here that you guys are understanding this part, okay? Because uh, sometimes this guy, a veces el, el, el teacher este, lo, lo explica a su manera y nosotros estamos aprendiendo diferent, de diferente manera también, ¿verdad? Entonces, se lo voy a explicar yo para que lo entendamos en una mejor ocasión. Permítame, vamos a ver aquí. Acuérdense que esta es una fórmula, ya lo explicó él, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta es una fórmula. Y esta fórmula que está explicando él acá es la que tenemos acá, de este lado. Si usted se fija, estamos sacando el adjetivo y el noun. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo de esta oración, de esta fórmula? Que yo creo que tal vez ya se me confundió, espero que no. El adjetivo de esta fórmula, ¿cuál sería? Dangerous. Dangerous. Aquí sería firefighter, right? Uh, the noun. Which in this... Firefighter and dangerous, ok? Adjective, all right, so... Perdón, es de la profesión, el adjetivo es el dangerous, you're right, ok, so, y acuérdese que el job va a ser el noun, entonces solamente es lo que tiene que hacer, guiarse por esta, por esta, por, por esta formulita que tenemos acá, y ya le va a pedir el, el maestro que haga una tarea para mañana, ok, vamos a ver. This case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share. All right, guys, uh, for tomorrow, I want you to you guys uh, create some sentences by using these adjectives, right? Estos adjetivos que él dio acá, usted va a crear unas cinco oraciones de este o unas cinco oraciones de este. Son diez. Sí puede, ¿verdad? Sí puede. This is something 
that is, is going to help you, all right? So if you are able to do it, just do it, all right? So estos son los, los adjetivos, si usted puede agregar más, y el tipo de oración que él quiere es como la que puso acá, el, como el ejemplo que está acá, mire. Dice, a lawyer job, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. Entonces, así va a agarrar usted otra, porque él lo tomó de acá, es stressful, ¿ve? Aquí está esto, stressful. Entonces, usted agarra el otro y lo hace así, ¿verdad? Y de igual manera, me, me lo hace de be adjective and adjective plus noun, ¿ok? So, eso va a ser eh, la tarea. Como le digo, si puede hacerla, termínela. Si no, pues, no la termine, ¿ok? So, no es, no es obligación, ¿all right? So, para... Yo quiero que la haga para que tenga más práctica. And I know that you're tired. I know that you want to sleep. I'm sorry. I want to sleep too. Uh, everybody's tired. Believe me. So practice, make the master. Remember, practice, make, practice, make the master. I want you to, you guys, double check the platform. Chequenme la plataforma nuevamente. Tienen hasta el jueves. Y para que saquen su 80. All right. So I see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. And take it easy. All right. So. God's will, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Take Good care. care. Good Teacher. Yes. Eh, Marielos. Dígame, dígame, Marielos. Tengo una consulta. Fíjese que estaba haciendo la evaluación de la 5.9, uh -huh. donde estamos ocupando el qué o uh -huh. el can't. Entonces, cuando pongo eh, negativo, no sé por qué no me lo agarra. Mm. Me lo saca en rojo. Mándeme esa... Es una captura de pantalla mi... ¿Cómo se llama? Mi WhatsApp. Lo voy a revisar. Este, okay. Ajá, y ahí vamos a estar en contacto, por favor. Ahí mándemelo a ver qué, qué sucede. Vaya, está bien. Muchas bueno, gracias. De nada. Have a good night, guys. Take it easy. I see you tomorrow. You tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 <clears throat>